Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number 16. The point of this one is to show that you don't always have to laminate the resin and the fiber reinforcement yourself. You can glue sheets of stuff onto core and make things that are pretty useful and you can do it pretty easily. This one's just some G10 sheet, 1 32nd inch thick, bonded onto some aluminum honeycomb core with a 5 to 1 epoxy. To start off, I'm preparing these with some 80 grit. You can uh, use 120 grit, 80 grit, something rough, just to give it some tooth for the epoxy to bond to. And here I'm giving them a wipe down with acetone to remove the dust and any potential contaminants from the surface, anything oily and gross. There's some question as to what the best way to prepare surfaces is. Um, an acetone wipe is not the worst choice. Here's the epoxy. It's a five to one. Pretty generic stuff. Total boat, very similar to West system. Probably not the ideal choice here. This would probably be best done with something a little thicker and potentially toughened for kind of ultimate performance and we're relying on the resin to form little fillets against the cells of the honeycomb and it's going to be pretty easy on the bottom skin but since we're doing this in one big stack the resin will tend to run out of the top skin but top we call it his skin but the, the sheet um, run down into the cells of the honeycomb so to do this better you could do one side and then the other in two separate curing operations, very similar to the way I made that very first laminate sample, laminate sample number one with um, honeycomb core and wet laid carbon. But this works okay. And here, I'm not gonna use a vacuum bag. It will just be a heavy weight. So the aluminum honeycomb core is bigger than the G10 sheets. It overhangs a little bit and I'm just gonna place it down and press it. This is not prime stuff. It's been around for a bit and it's got some dents and dings but it should work out okay especially to illustrate the process. And I'm gonna brush the top skin sheet with more epoxy. Uh, a roller would be great for this for something bigger and um, you can they'll give you slightly better control over how much epoxy is where and again thicker thicker resin is better for this this is pretty middle of the road and um, was a little too thin in just my feeling um, handling it so it's all covered pretty uniform I'm just gonna plop this down on the surface and that will be that trying to align them just by looking through. I got it okay, um, but certainly for larger things or you could make an alignment fixture um, that held the two sheets exactly aligned so you wouldn't have to cut them. And I'm coming with some acetone and just wiping off any resin that got on the top side just to keep things tidy. There, lining it up as best I can and to keep it from sliding around just using some masking tape and being careful not to lap the masking tape because that will create areas where that are higher up by a thickness of a masking tape and so when I put a, the aluminum plate on top that I'm going to use to compress all of this the areas where there are two layers of masking tape will be high spots and will take more pressure than anywhere else and keep it from pressing uniformly down. And this is just another sheet of G10 I'm using kind of a to spread the load a little bit because I'm not sure how flat this big chunk of aluminum is. It's pretty good but it's um, it's just a mill finish so who knows. But it feels pretty rugged and the tape will keep it from sliding around when I put an even heavier weight on top.
there's probably about a hundred pounds of stuff. I started, I thought maybe I'd put this little weight on and then realized, nah, I'm gonna go for something really beefy and get this big angle plate, which I managed to get up there. That's better. So, let it all cure and here's a quick look at the aluminum honeycomb. This is nice stuff. You can see it's made in this compressed form and then expanded by pulling it open and that gives the cells their shape. It can be got with different geometries, different cell shapes and different levels of expansion. By pulling it, stretching it the long way, the cells are what's called overexpanded, where the cells become almost rectangular and that allows you to form the honeycomb into different shapes, different curves and um, it's very nice stuff, nice to deal with. Uh, it's easy to dent and mess up, but um, for flat panels, it's really nice. It could be glued to aluminum skins or um, fiberglass skins or any other type of composite. And it's uh, very high performance stuff. So let it gel and then cure. May have given it a little heat with the warm table. Remove my 85 pound angle plate and the big piece of aluminum. Gotta check it out, see how things turned out. Pulling all this tape off, the top surface looked really nice. No resin crept around on the tape, so it's pretty clean. And then just pulled it up. Doing sketchy stuff with a razor knife. But it popped off really easily and you can see where the resin crept around underneath, absorbed into the peel ply. But pulling that peel ply off should yield a nice flat surface with not too much extra resin to hold things up. And these came out pretty well aligned and it certainly feels rugged and nice. You can see looking at the top side that there's less resin forming little fillets between the honeycomb cells where gravity did in fact pull it down and I'm just using a razor knife to trim off the excess honeycomb from the perimeter. You could take this panel and cut it with a bandsaw or a jigsaw or anything like that um, or you could pre-cut the G10 and just glue it around slightly oversized chunks of honeycomb. So there's the panel and it looked pretty nice on the edges. You can see there that it's well bonded and it certainly feels very stiff in bending it. I don't have an extra piece to break. But that one square foot piece weighed 422 grams for about 14 and 7 eighths ounces. And comparing that to a piece of 1 eighth inch G10, um, that's substantially lighter and way stiffer. There are the resin fillets formed against the cells of the honeycomb. It's nicely glued on there and it shows the panel. It's a pretty nice way to build something big and stiff without an awful lot of trouble or fussy material handling. So thanks for checking it out.